Hello, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and today we're going to look at the editing capabilities of this new Mac Studio. This is the base model Mac Studio with the 32 gigabytes of RAM and the 512 gigabyte hard drive. This is the $2,000 base model. So you can see here we're looking at a full screen uh, Final Cut Pro and it plays back 8K video. Yes, if you look there, this is 8K 24P video from the Canon R5. I'm gonna do another crop in on this from 8K, and I'm gonna go ahead and crop in on the shot. That's why I like uh, 8K so much. A lot of people say, well, you know, 8K, uh, you really need it. Well, this is why you need it. Well, once you have a computer like this, you can go ahead and when you have a shot, it was originally shot wide, watch what I can do here. I can do this really nice push in on that car across the street. So watch how nice this is. Now you could always do this, but the thing is, you know, you were cropping in a 4K and then it was becoming 1080p or 720p. But here as I crop in, I'm still safe within that 4K. You know, I'm, I'm still uh, about 4K when I crop in. So I haven't really taken it past that limit yet. So you can see here when we go full screen, just click it and it's playing it back great. And that's really awesome that you can do this. Here's another one playing back that shot from that car across the street. And it looks great. You can see that. And that's all, you know, within Final Cut Pro. So it really works well. That's one thing about this computer. It is handling the 8K footage, no problem. Now I was handling 8K footage on the M1 Mac, not a problem either, but with this, it's a, it's smoother, and when I'm doing these crops, these Ken Burn crops, I'm able to do those Ken Burn crops without waiting for it to render because before it would skip. Now here, let's try this. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna play back this um, 8K ProRes file. I did that earlier, and let's just see how it plays. And this will play back the same, um, I can play this back no problem on the M1 Mac. Uh, but just to show you here what it can do, I think it would be worth it to spend the extra money because it's you're definitely kind of future-proofing yourself because this is going to be able to handle it. And this particular uh, Kodak that I shot with the camera is not that easy to edit with, but you can see here with Final Cut Pro, let's go ahead and click on it full screen. Look at that. That's amazing. This can really speed up your workflow. It really can. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at editing uh, 8K with the new Mac Studio. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day. And be sure to check in with my videos later on because I'm gonna have more videos on the Mac Studio. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up.